Welcome back to Liquid Lunch on a fabulous Friday here in downtown Toronto. It's me, Hugh, and Hildegard is here, of course, because it's Friday. And who is our fabulous guest that we have here on the couch right well, now, Well, we are talking about women's empowerment. And here to talk about this is Adriana Ruskin, the founder of the Women's Empowerment Project. And I understand you've done a lot of work with the Brazilian community here, or Latin American community here in Toronto already. Welcome, Adriana, and congratulations, you. you're graduating today, you Thank studied you. theology over the last couple of years, well done. Thank you so much, thank you so much for having me on the show. Uh, the Woman Project is a project that it comes uh, up to uh, five friends, right, it's a sisterhood a group, and we start this group of over a year and a half ago, we have mm -hmm. over 400 members already. So the, the Woman Project is the first project of the year. We like to empower women, not just um, in business, but also mind. And we want the woman to have a mindset, body health. And uh, we have, in the first one is, uh, like as I say, is a, our first. And we don't, uh, not sure yet what we want to do, but we putting some ideas together. And this first project, we have an clothing swap, right? A what? Clothing swap. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Do, do you like clo do clothing swap? Well, I like to uh, swap clothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're having a clothing swap, and w this is just for introducing the, the project, we, what is about it. And we're going to have a free brunch. Yes, but men aren't allowed, right? No, no, men is not allowed, yes. Because it's a clothing swap. <laughs> People are trying on stuff and throwing blouses over. This is the 21st century, Hildegard. <laughs> you can even choose your gender nowadays. So true. Yes, it is. But it might explode the format of what Adriana had in mind, right? Yes. So the closing swap is just to... Bring people together and then introduce to them what your plans what are. What is the plan, yes. Neat idea. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And uh, also we want to be focused in women with suffering from depression, anxiety. 65% of North America for women suffering from depression, but they're afraid to express themselves. So we don't want to suffer alone. So we want to join this group to empower each other, right? To show that we stand for each other and help each other whatever they need. Did I understand this right? 65%? 65%. Of women America. in North America Canada, suffer United from States, depression. Yes. What is it in Brazil? Uh, I, I, I didn't research. You know, I bet more people in Brazil walk around with their bare feet. <laughs> so they're happier. I believe that they say Brazil is the most happy country in the world. I know. Yes. Because of the beaches. There's a lot of singing <laughs> and dancing and music. and People are happy. More just expressed. Maybe people are more self-expressed than here in North America. What I, do you I, think? I believe the, the people are happy the way they are. Even they they going through some certain circumstance of poverty, they're still happy. And North America, people is too busy. They want more and more. And the chaos society bring us to depression. Right? So we are not really in our heart as much maybe here. Uh, we are more in the head, looking outside, trying to get more or be better or buy something else. But we are not as authentic here. Is that what I hear you say? Yes. Uh, Brazil is more passion, right? More caring, more love. People love you unconditionally. Like, doesn't matter who you are. In North America, like, I feel like the people, the business of the life, it keeps us apart distance. So that's why the woman projects, they want to bring women together. Nice. Yes. What is your personal experience being in North America now? Do you feel there's more opportunities for women than in Brazil? Or even though it appears that there are more opportunities, it's harder, tougher to get somewhere? I believe North America is have a way more opportunity for women. And uh, it's just like some new immigrant, especially coming to the country, doesn't know what opportunity we have here. So this idea of the Women Project also to help new immigrant women to engage in the society. Yes, yeah, so to find your way and discover the possibilities that you have no aware. I don't, we don't know what we don't know, right? Yes, exactly. So it's a, an event to connect women and share opportunities. Yes, and our focus is in healing, right? It's, right. A, it's a healing workshop, so we want to bring women together to share their stories. 
mm-hmm. and how they achieve their goals in business. And also we networking, we networking women like they have a small business. They want to bring their business together. They want to show us what they can do. They have good talents. Like I like to bring artists. I love the art. I'm an artist myself. So I try to bring much artists I can. People uh, went through some defeat in life would like to share with us. It would be great. Yeah. Look around here. Yes, we I have see. art exhibits. What kind of art do you do? You paint? Oh, I brought you a paint. You're uh, painting? Yes. I'm an art. Yeah, I brought, uh, they call it the water Just path. put it in the camera there, yeah. Oh, yes. Lift, hold it, yeah. Beautiful. Yes, I brought you a little, a little painting. Is that a real place, Adriana? Oh, uh, No. It's not a real place. <laughs> it's just an imaginary place. Yes. Beautiful. Yes, it's an imaginary place. Is this acrylic? That's acrylic. Yeah. Remember we're talking about oh, the yeah. lady? Yes. Yeah. That's why I paint acrylic. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So maybe you can at some point come back and show us your art. Oh, yes. In the or future. not necessarily we just yours. We should have a conversation about that, Adriana. Figure out how to do some art things. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I would love to connect with you about maybe having a women's health show. I've been talking about this for a long time. I like to have you in a woman. It would be us. so nice yeah. to maybe have a, a monthly or bi-weekly thing where we talk specifically about women's subjects. It would be great. You know? yes. yes, it would be nice. And also in the Woman Project, I like to tell the ladies that we are having some giveaways. The The business are sponsored the project right now is giving some good stuff away. So uh, like what to you, invite. Like what? We're giving some gym membership. We're giving some massage. <laughs> some massage giveaways, shoes. We have some jewelry, uh, beauty. Yes, everything involved with women. So this is, you have a flyer there? Oh, uh, I do have a flyer about the, the, the project. Um, mm-hmm. It's right here. Um. So on June the 18th from 1 to 6 p.m. is when your uh, closing swap's going to happen at yes. 169 the West Mall in Toronto. Can I see that, Adriana? Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> sure, you can see that. <laughs> so, what what is the venue? Is it like a big church hall, community center, uh, we, or where we, are you meeting? We rent this place. It's the Four Square Church, but it's nothing to do with the Four Square Church. We we rent this place from then. We use mm-hmm. them then for the people. Any women are welcome to this place. Yeah. Yes, and we're going to have a few people speaking that day. We have a, a psychotherapist and a counselor and uh, also a social worker speaking for us this day explain how to overcome anxiety and depression and also we're going to have a lady and uh, speaking about her life how she become a gym owner a, su- a successful woman empower another woman because she overcome drug addiction and also anxi- uh, anxiety disorder and panic disorder so let me ask you what is your opinion on depression is it not normal for each and every one of us at some point in our life to go through this low point And then we discover something different about ourselves and maybe take our life in a different direction. Is it really a problem or is it an opportunity? What's your opinion on that? I believe that sometimes we go through some emotion or things in our life that takes us the wrong way is to make us stronger. I think it's an opportunity and and it's good to want to pass through some stuff so they can be stronger. And I believe it's a solution there. We are the solution. We just have to express ourselves and talk. You know, let the world know that we exist and we're here to stand together. So it's kind of cementing our our desires, our values, and then yes. we become more stronger at yeah. the end of it. Yes. Going back to your home country, if I may, for a <laughs> minute. Where exactly did you grow up and where did this passion to make a difference for women originate in you? I I'm, I'm sensing, and without <laughs> getting too close to what you don't want to talk about, but what (laughs) was it that really fired this? Well, I I grew up in a very small town, 900 people, very teeny, teeny town, and uh, I moved there when I was 12 years old. I came to North America and I was at age 23, very young. I went through some breakups, some depression in my life, some, Mm -hmm. some stuff up and down. And I just overcome this because when I come together as a woman and I, I find a way, I'm a counselor also, I'm a life counselor. So I just graduated last week as a life counselor. I learned to deal with some issue and make a better place to live. We can go over and we can share together, you know. 
<laughs> so it's actually natural for you to step into wanting to empower women on a bigger scale because you've gone through this I, journey I, yourself. Yes, yes. I went through the, the, the journey, so I want to show the, the woman that we can overcome. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, thank you. Do you, you wanted to ask a question? Well, um... um I don't have a question right now. I'm just. Uh, I just. I just sorry that men can't go to these uh, women empowerment workshops. Well, this is where I wanted to lead with my next question. Because we we thought, oh, can men come? No, men can't come. But tell us a little bit more of the impact it has when women are empowered, when women have more confidence, when they are speaking out and they're speaking about what has been hurting and traumatizing them. How does it impact men and their relationship to men in your experience? Um, because a lot of women going to be there also is being hurt by men, right? So we want to show them not every man can hurt a woman. So um, as I say, a woman, they, she can release uh, some hate, this kind of feelings they have against another gender or because what caused in the past. Because I've been hurt by men in the past and I overcome this. You know, and I, I, they go in this place, we get in together, we express and we let it out, let it out to step for the next goal they have to achieve in life. To heal it so we can relate again. Like, I don't know whether you are in tune with this, but I always feel this is the Aquarian age. Aquarian age is about the divine feminine. And it's to end. I've been hearing that. The, the division between male and fem female, because men has just as much been hurt by women yeah. than women have been hurt by men. I believe that. Because, yeah, because I've spoken to enough men who have gone through horrible situations. Go ahead. Well, I think Hildegard, maybe, we're just talking, uh, if it is the Aquarian age, right, which is now the feminine is in the ascendancy, right? And a lot of people talk about how the guys are having difficulty finding their way, right, these days. And now we got all this, we were joking about it before, about you get to choose your gender. But we've got all this gender, I don't know, the whole issue around it, right? Like it's like, you know, there used to be two sexes, now it's a spectrum. Well, and regardless of the spectrum, as long as they could get along, but it seems the men have a hard time finding the woman, the women seem to have a difficulty finding a man, and yeah, I'm like, it's weird. maybe we have to start within, cleaning out yes. our old hatreds and beliefs, and so not so nice things happen, but now it's time to not project that onto somebody else, but really create consciously relationships that work, regardless whether they're, uh, you know, what sex is the people are be. What do you think, Adriana? Um, about the transgender, the change of sex. I, I, well, I, yeah, the whole I just respect everybody's choice. Like, um, I, I will respect anybody's choice. I don't cause anybody choice. I have my own choices. I think if a man want to be a woman, that's except to him. Or if a woman want to be a man, it's except to her. It's not me to judge people. I'm not here to judge or to tell for them what they can do about it. Mm. Yeah. And I think judgment is the key thing. Let's get rid of the judgment. Yes. L accept and love myself because then I don't have to judge anybody. I think judgment comes from not really embracing who we are, regardless of what sex and gender and nationality or religion, right? Yes. So I think that's maybe where a lot of these empowerment groups can support. We're here to support women. It doesn't matter what kind of religion they are or, or where they're coming from, what's the background. We're not looking here specific to a group of women or a mindset of women. We're looking here for many different women. That's why we want to show them that we love them and we're here and we stand together. And we all walk through the same path, more or less, right? Yes. At some point or another. Yeah. Now, Wonderful. A Adriana, so, okay, we have this event coming up on the 18th uh, in Etobicoke. Um, what else are you planning in terms of the Woman Project um, over the next year, say, uh, other events or other uh, initiatives, anything like that that you want to tell us about? Oh, it took me about a year and a half to put this event together. Of course, we're going to uh, plan better in the future. This is just an introduction, like I said. Mm -hmm. We're planning to go bigger. 
I am a dreamer. I'm not afraid to dream. I'm going to go higher because if I look back for those that try to stop my dream, I will be stuck in my back. Mm -hmm. But now our dream is to step forward, not to stop when, when somebody tries to stop you. So I mm -hmm. am going to go forward. I'm going to go bigger and I'm going to dream it even higher. Okay. Fantastic. Amazing. Now people, like how do uh, people who are watching this, women, of course, if they want to go to the event, how do they get, uh, how, do they, how do they go? The best thing is to go to the Sisterhood page, right? Or you can add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm separating friends right now. <laughs> and they can go to the, the Woman Project event. They can look for the, the information. And it's a free event. It's no charge. Nice. Yes. Okay, and um, so maybe we can put this on our uh, website as well. Yeah, we'll put it on, on the website. Facebook page or somewhere. That would be awesome. Yeah, and maybe you inspire some gentlemen to start uh, a men um, support group. <laughs> yeah, you never know. So the guys can start to look after themselves too. Um, and uh, I, I think, do you, and because you're a painter, I know, right? <laughs> yes. An artist. Do you have a website for that or uh, anything? No, I just have a Facebook page. Yeah. Everything is a Facebook. So they should just look you up personally on Facebook and yes. they can go from there, yes. right? So that's yeah. uh, easy enough. Adriana yes. Raskin, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for being with us and we look forward to having you more often thank maybe you. bring other women and bring us some of your beautiful artwork to display that would be wonderful oh thank you so much thank you for having maybe me we will here. have a women's art show here at some point no men allowed <laughs> well they can come and watch and buy them too yes that's for sure <laughs> yes yes that's for sure anyway thank you so much thank you and Araskin and much success for your upcoming events thank you. and uh, we'll hope to be in touch with you soon Thank you so much. So please stay with us and we will come back and we'll talk about how a wonderful woman has overcome her challenge with hepatitis C. So please stay tuned and we'll be back shortly.